National Lampoon's Vacation would have pulled me away for sure. <laughs> yeah. it, came out, it came out that year, uh, July 29th, that same summer. What a summer, 1983. Directed by Harold Ramis and, uh, of course, Chevy Chase's probably best movie, I would say. Yeah. And just what a, what a fantastic Ooh, yeah, movie. No, that was that was, tough for you? Oh, Fletch, though, was so good. Fletch, yeah. Fletch was really good. Yeah, yeah, Chase but, uh, was so good at physical comedy. Like, he yeah. got... He only got better and better. Like he was, he had the wit from the beginning, but his physical comedy only, only got better and better. And I feel like, in some ways, uh, Vacation was the was the beginning of that. It yeah. certainly rocketed him to stardom. Yeah, uh, more so than he already was as, as a comedian and a, and a cast member and stuff. And, and Christy Brinkley too. I think she <laughs> became even bigger than she was as a result of that movie. Yeah, I actually did not know that it was a John Hughes screenplay until doing research for yeah. this, mm. which I thought was really cool. Um, that's definitely the start of the super reign of terror that John right. Hughes had in, uh, on teenagers. <laughs> and by reign of terror, you mean story, reign of right? quality yeah, films. Yeah, reign of quality. What's that? <laughs> it's based on a short story, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, own, his own short story. His own short story about like going to Disneyland yeah. or something, but yeah. they had to change the name to Wally World. Yeah. And, yeah which uh, I thought was strange, but, you know. And Wally World was unmistakably Disneyland. Oh, yeah. 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 We all knew what that was. <laughs> it was it felt like Canadian Disneyland, really. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like Disneyland. It was like if Canada made Disneyland, they'd they call it Wally World. They were going to Anaheim, they are going to Vancouver. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was his first film with Anthony Michael Hall, uh, the first of several uh, wow. collaborations. I yeah, think that's that was a good br- point Anthony too. Anthony Michael Hall's breakout yeah. film, wasn't it? I mean, Definitely. he'd been in commercials or something before, but this is like his breakout mm-hmm. film before mm-hmm. he went on to do like 16 Candles. And, and the, the first of yeah. several sets of children. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, it had different so children. So in each yeah. vacation movie, European vacation, Christmas vacation, there was different children. Yep. They don't, you know, you don't need to explain that. Yeah, it's, it's like James Bond. You just it's cast good. a new I like it. And it was all yeah. because of scheduling conflicts. Like they, they, they were, they were ready to go to Europe for the for the second movie. Yeah. And uh, what, what was um, Anthony Michael Hall was busy with Weird Science. Yeah, he great was tied movie. up. With, yeah, which is a great. I oh, love that movie. He's tied up with Weird Science, and they're like, well, I guess we just need to get two new kids. And <laughs> they, and they just kept doing it. Uh, this is the only one with John Candy in it, though. Yes, that's he's a security guard at the end. That's true. There's so a good, good roller coaster scene with him. Yeah. Which wouldn't have happened if they hadn't changed the film's ending from the original ending. Really? The original yeah. Ending. The, so the original. So you know the ending they of all Christmas. Die. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like so. Remember Christmas Vacation, where he gets his boss, yeah. that kidnaps his boss. Yeah, Randy that was Quaid's supposed. Character. Right, right, right. That's supposed to be the ending of Vacation. Huh. That's supposed to be the ending of Vacation, where where uh, where they kidnap like the I think the head of Wally World, and they you know they like physically like assault him until yeah. he like lets them. And like they decided that was too dark. I remember so this they, movie they was pretty taboo end. for me. I was, I was yeah, me young too. for it, and uh, I learned the term skinny dipping from it. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I didn't even see it until much later. Um, and so I had a different experience of it. A lot of my friends had seen it as kids, and then they oh, would be they the would worst? like whisper, whisper, yeah. whisper. Oh, there's nudity in this movie, yeah. and I'd be like, <laughs> what's that even? <laughs> <laughs> and what's then, even nudity? Yeah, I always have clothes on, no I matter what. I don't know what. <laughs> I w- I'm a never nude. I'm a never. <laughs> So, so did we ever find out where Christy Brinkley was going in that movie? And why is it that she'd always drive ahead of him, but then in the next scene she'd be behind them again? (laughs) She's just a force of nature there to tempt him. There was a lot like at every turn. But uh, who who here believes that she was ever going to like actually hook up with Clark Griswold? Of all yeah, people? that's one of those things. Where I'm like, nah, there's there's no way that Christy Brinkley and her hot Ferrari that says "Love Me" is gonna <laughs> is gonna be with this awkward family man. It's just no. Yeah. Oh, well, that's it didn't sad. matter in the 80s, did it? <laughs> it ruins it. Ever. Yeah. Oh, I could be <laughs> no, wrong. Maybe that's just your type of guy. I'm not, I'm not judging. Um,